Let's begin with Cyclone Bulbul, which has now made a landfall between West Bengal and southern Bangladesh last night. Two deaths were reported even before the full force of the cyclone hit. Now, the severe cyclonic storm made a landfall with a maximum sustained speed of 110 to 120 km per hour. It is now on course to make a landfall near the Sundarbans. According to India's meteorological department, Cyclone Bulbul is set to weaken gradually as it moves into Bangladesh. About 100,000 People have been evacuated from the low-lying coastal areas of Bangladesh. More than 3,000 shelters in 13 coastal districts have also been opened. Two ports have been put on their highest alert. Authorities have also cancelled a nationwide school test. Yesterday, heavy rains lashed the coasts of West Bengal and Odisha. In Kolkata, one man was killed when a tree uprooted and fell on him. In Odisha, one person died due to a wall collapse. Earlier during the day, West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee said that the administration was prepared to tackle the situation. Over 50,000 people were evacuated from the coastal areas of West Bengal and around 4,000 were evacuated from the neighboring state of Odisha. Light operations had been suspended in Kolkata since 6 p.m. last evening till 6 a.m. this morning. Several fishermen were provided with shelter and they were asked not to venture into the rough seas. Ten diving and medical teams have also been kept ready for the Navy to rescue and relief efforts in Odisha and West Bengal are currently underway. Odisha's Special Relief Commissioner has said that around 30 to 40 percent of paddy crops cultivated on 6 lakh hectare of farmland in north coastal districts have suffered extensive damage due to the cyclone. And the political deadlock in the Indian state of Maharashtra may come to an end soon as according to sources the NCP is now ready to lend support to the Shiv Sena to form a government. The final call will be taken in a day or two though. It is believed that the deal between NCP Chief Sharad Pawar and Shiv Sena Supremo Dhav Thakare has almost been finalized. Sources say that the Congress party will lend outside support to the alliance. The final decision will however be taken by Congress High Command. This comes as the governor has asked the BJP, the single largest party in Maharashtra Assembly, to make a decision regarding government formation. Now, the majority mark in Maharashtra is 144. Shiv Sena, which won 56 seats, has got the support of seven independents with NCP's 54 seats and Congress's 44. The tally of the alliance will reach 162, easily crossing the majority mark.